without you. Well, thank you much. But you will survive. But my spirit just doesn't take that woman. Why not? She's kind of fishy for a law firm to hire a new graduate without an internship. There's nothing fishy about it. Maybe she's just, I don't know, looking out for a brother. Looking out for you? Did you see the way she was looking at you? Are you jealous? No. Yes, you are. Look at you. It's written all over your face. I'm not jealous. I, I'm just saying. You need to look really well into that company before taking that job. Okay, you know what? First thing in the morning, I promise I will. You better. For someone with such a small head, you sure do think smart. First, first of all, my head is not small. Oh, it's tiny. No, it's not. It's very, very tiny. No, it's Wanna not. Don't argue about it. Hey, you know what? I'm gonna jump in the shower. All right, I'll be there. to wake you up. You know, I hope you were not drunk last night. You know, because ending up in your bed after getting slapped, shit is kind of crazy. Oh, no, no. I never blame it on the alcohol. Yeah, I'll make sure I tell Jimmy Fox that. What? Never mind. And hey, your place is nice. And beautiful, too. What do you do? I'm a call girl. You a call what? A call girl. Want one? No, I don't smoke. Oh. oh. Now, you should have told me, you know. I only got 20 with me. How much do you charge? Save your money. It's free. The kitchen's that way. I want breakfast. Make me two scrambled eggs. Two slices of wheat toast burnt with orange juice and a water mix. Billy Jean, not my lover. Oh, she's just a girl. Not that I am the one. Uh, uh, the kiss, not my son. Oh! Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, Lord. You almost gave me a heart attack, but I'm all right. Why are you waking up to fix your breakfast? <sighs> Baby, you know I don't mind cooking you breakfast. Why are you all dressed up? Where are you going? Well, I got that meeting with Miss Dickens today. You know the lady from the law firm? Oh, the lady at the bar that gave you her card? Yeah. yeah. But it's business, so... Yeah, she called me this morning, so... How did she get your number? Honestly, you do not know. Anyways, don't let me interrupt your dance session. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to bed. I'm tired. Okay, I'll okay. see you later, alright? Alright, bye, Michael Jackson. <laughs> hey! Oh my god. <laughs>
good? Somebody I've been selling a lot of cars lately. <laughs> well, coming from you, I appreciate it. <laughs> well, how come you didn't come to church today? Booked. Really? Oh, that's a good God. thing. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Hi, yeah. oh, Miss Sophia. My new stylist, Sophia, Hi, my best how friend. Are you? Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. <laughs> so, what you want to do with your hair? No, it's fine. You just did this three days ago. I'm okay. Thank God. Just, just stop by to say hi. Okay? We so here. Back All right. Let's sit back. Sit back. Ah. So tired and hungry. I know. <laughs> I know. When are you going back to school? Listen, I appreciate your concern. Have you even filled out your applications? No, not really. But you know, I, I will. You better. You better do that. Let us sit for a minute, okay? Okay. Oh. Listen. It's not like I'm coming down on you. But you like a sister to me. If I see a problem, I have to tell you. Or else, it's like I'm part of it. <laughs> I know. I will. I'm working on it, okay? I am. Sure. Mm -hmm. Positive. Are you pregnant? No, <laughs> why is everybody saying that? Wait. Stop. No. Don't touch me. Nancy. <laughs> I'm sure. I am not pregnant. Are you pregnant? <laughs> Are you going to my program tonight? Oh, no. I don't feel like just sitting there with a whole bunch of women just talking about my personal business. But you know you don't have to talk. You can just sit down and listen. The girls are nice. You don't need to do this all the time. You don't need to have all these meetings with all these heartbroken women. You know, to talk about your relationship. You need to move on. Okay, that's it. Change your mind, Nancy. Babe, hurry up, okay? You don't want to be late. Cause traffic is crazy out there, you gotta hurry up. I'm so excited, I'm gonna make calls to different schools today. To see if you can send me their brochures and flyers. That way I can look at different programs that they have. I'm so excited. I'm glad you finally start working, that way I can go back to school. I just can't wait. Look, I can do it, okay? See, see, I don't need you. But you invited, you know who? And what is that supposed to mean? You know exactly what it's supposed to mean. Uh, okay. All right, um, she didn't invite you, number one, because you're not a friend. Girl, let me tell you about Jamaica. When <laughs> yeah. I tell you Sarah got her through that, did you? Yes, I did. Anyway, Nancy, 
No one cares about Sarah getting anything back. You need to go and sell your cars. That's what you need to go do it. You need to get that back. See, and this is the reason why I don't like the fish. This is the exact reason why. So I'm now we're name calling. Now we're name calling. I call it how I see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I do. Oh, Miss Dickens. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was you. Don't call me Dickens. Just call me Yvette. Yes, ma'am. Um, can I interest you in a cup of coffee, tea, or anything? Coffee would be fine. Um, black, no sugars, please. Waiter. <laughs> so let me get this straight. You're telling me that there's absolutely no one in your law firm that you can trust with your money? That is exactly what I'm saying. You don't believe me? It's not that, Miss Dickens. Yvette. I'm sorry. It's not that, Yvette. It's just, what if I go someplace with your money and you can't find me? I trust you. I mean, here you are, talking about taking my money and going someplace else. Crooks don't talk like that. And how do you know? Well, <laughs> Groups always try to sell themselves as honest and later transform into something else. Oh, excuse me. Today's my girl's birthday and I completely forgot. She's gonna kill me. Well, take the job and then she won't feel bad so bad after all. You know what, Miss Dickens? I think I will take the job. I'm sorry, you bet. Well, so I'll see you next Monday? Sounds good to me. Great. You know, Chris, do you know what makes a woman really happy on their birthday? What's that? Surprise dinner. Oh, hey, hey. Yeah, I, actually, I did. Hey, thanks again for the tip. Okay, good night. Who was that? Miss Dickens. Miss Dickens? The lady from the law firm? Why is she calling you this time of the night? Is she calling you from her house phone or her work phone? Her cell phone, I guess. I didn't really look. What does she want? She was just checking to see if everything was going okay. Look, it was her idea to surprise you. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? How to surprise me? Yes. 
So you need another woman's approval to do something nice for me? <sighs> Nancy, you're overreacting. Overreacting? Let me tell you something about women you should already know. We're the most patient creatures in this world. And when we want something, we go get it. Now it's about time you get it, damn it! Really, Nancy? I don't believe this. Push me in the water? Tuesday at 10? Yes, ma'am, you're in the book. Thanks for calling. See you then. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Alfie. Oh, hey, I'm uh, Christopher Taylor. Hey, did we meet with Miss Dickens this morning? Mr. Taylor? That's me. She's waiting on you. Her office is over there. Thanks. You're welcome. Yes? Listen, I've told you. As long as you can prove it, you have a case. Yeah? Look, I have to go. Yeah, say hi to your wife for me, okay? Love you. So you finally made it. I'm, I'm so sorry it took this long. I've been away in Paris for a few months working on my dad's project. Well, Miss Dickens, I uh, wouldn't want to disappoint. Oh, by the way, that reminds me. You, uh, you left us at the coffee shop the other day. Well, thanks. It's just the magazine. <laughs> yes, of course, but it's not my magazine to keep. Okay, uh, so where do we start? Okay, uh, let me show you your office, uh, and I will get you some files to start working on. I'm forgetting something here. Job description. All right. There you go. Thanks. Okay. If you can please follow me. Well, Miss Dickens, I think everything's pretty much done on this Johnson case. Would you like to take a look? Nope. I trust your workmanship. for dinner. Lunch. Dinner? What? Don't eat? Yeah, it's just I... Uh... I'll be right outside. Jane? Yes, Miss Dickens? I'm going out for dinner. Do not forward any calls on my cell phone. <laughs> Did you see the look on the Chinese lady's face? When yeah. I said, we don't have money to pay, we will do the fish. <laughs> She would have whooped your butt. Really? No way. <laughs> Nothing. Just wanted to say thank you for coming with me. I had a great time. Yeah, anytime, Miss Dickens. And uh, thank you as well. with a few of my friends and I would like for you to come. You would like me to come? Yes, I'm asking you to come.
Good morning. Good morning. So how was the company's party? You came in pretty late last night. Yeah, about the party. Um... Hello? Yes, of course. Uh huh, sure. Don't worry, I'll be there. Okay. Bye bye. Who was that? My boss. What you want? To sign some papers. So. Is that what you do? Just sign papers all day? What do you expect? It's a part of my job. <laughs> Jesus, Nancy, I don't understand. You wanted me to work, I got a job, I'm working, yet there's still a problem. I don't understand. God, you seem like you're insecure about something. I'm just saying, just read what you sign before you sign anything. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Sorry. It's okay. These faxes just came in. They're very important. It's from your father. Put them on my desk. It's something that... On my desk! <sighs> Jane? Yes, Miss Dickens? Can you check on the resume files? Uh, there was the lady that came here for an interview. I think her name was uh, Lydia Grant. Let her know she got the position for secretary. Okay, ma'am. For secretary, you mean? Yeah, Jane. I have to let you go. Thank you. Out. Yes, John. Um, Jane is no longer allowed in the building. Yes, thanks. Hello? Mikey, tell me you got some good news for me, man. Really? 
They're going to settle? How much? 1.5. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I knew you could do it, my man. We'll make a good team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just fax me the numbers. Okay? I'll be speaking with you, buddy. All right. Talk to you soon. Well, I have some good and some bad news. Okay. The good news is I spoke with a representative from the company mm -hmm. and they're willing to settle. Only problem is they're willing to settle at 35, 38%. <laughs> I thought it was 45. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, we kind of had a little hiccup with that, but I promise if you give me a few more days, mm -hmm. I have better results for you. I need you to get to work on that. Yes, ma'am, I will. So, and what's going on with the school board and well, they're willing to settle. Settle? Yes, ma'am. I mean, what parent would want to settle in an abused case? You know, people these days. Hey, whatever works for them. Uh, and the construction and healthcare issue? Berkshire Construction Company. They're saying the employees are just too angry to settle for anything that they're willing to propose. Now, on the other hand, the employees think they have a case and they're willing to sue, and they've come to us. Well, listen, government, state workers, that is not our problem, okay? I understand. I just need you to focus on the Marion versus the state case. Yes, ma'am. Please will. get to work I on will. that. I will. Actually, are you doing anything after work today? Uh, nothing important. Why, did you have something for me to finish up here at work, or? As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> question is that? I gotta go. Hey, baby. Hey, babe. How was work? Work was alright. It's a little too much, but nothing I can't handle. Listen, I called you over five times, you know, but out of bread and milk, I kind of wanted you to get some. Oh, I can go do that for you. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. I'll just get it tomorrow. Okay. You get some rest. Hey. Yeah. Um, listen, kind of went ahead and, you know, I know your hands are full right now, but I went ahead and quit my job and decided where I can start school. Oh, yeah, yeah, the school thing. Oh, that's great. Can we talk about it tomorrow, though? I'm really exhausted. Just want to get up here and get some rest. That's all right with you. Are you asking me a question? What question? If it's okay for you to go upstairs. I was just wondering. Baby, are you okay? Yeah, baby. I'm never better. Why do you ask? I uh, know. Hey, listen. The school asked me to write an essay mm -hmm. and part of the admission process. We've been out of school for so long, I don't even know where to start. I'll tell you what. Tomorrow I'm off. I'm not working. I'm not doing anything all day. So if you got any questions, just let me know. I can help you. All right? I really want to get up here and get some rest, so I'll see you in the morning, OK?
well, let's see, for starters, ever since I started working for you, it seems like all we ever do is have sex. And what's wrong about that? You're my boss, for God's sake. What do you mean what's wrong with that? So I'm not good enough for you? Huh? God damn it, he bet it's not that, okay? You know I have a fiance. I don't need permission from any woman. Okay, then prove it. What do you want from me, vet? So you fired that innocent girl. For what? I hate tricks! I like straight shooters. She wasn't a trick! Okay? She was just a young college intern trying to gain experience in this field. And what did you do? You fired her. Nancy too. Oh yeah? Well guess what? Just so you know, Nancy's pregnant. <sighs> I know damn well she won't be the first single mother in the world. Definitely not the last. You to figure this whole thing out. What's this? Happy birthday in advance. A trip to Paris. For two. Think about it and give me a call. trying to get the paper signed, okay? We already got a few signed and we're waiting on the others. As soon as they're done, we will get him to sign the rest. Yes, and then we're good to go. Dad, try. 
trust me on this. Of course I'm fucking him. Yo, the craziest thing happened to me today at work. The what? Uh, this young lady came up to me, told me she liked me. I <laughs> mean, that's what's up. Actually, she told me she loved me. Wow. And not only that, she said she wanted to have my child. <laughs> man, what's this lady, man? <sighs> Miss Dickens. Oh, the one that gave you your job? Yeah, yeah. Her. Man, that's what's up, man. What are you waiting for, man? What am I waiting for? Man, I have Nancy, okay? I love Nancy, and she's pregnant. Plus, we have a plan, and guess what? I intend to stick to it. Chris, look here. You let Nancy go to school for six years, become a doctor, and get a job. You know how long six years is? We're not talking about six days or six months. We're talking about six long years. Come on, man. Even Nelson Mandela's not going to fall for that. Yeah. Man, you better wake up, man, before your time is up. You know, I've been walking around this place from a different angle, and I didn't see anything wrong about it. I mean, plus, you got to be sure if Nancy's going to do well in school. I don't see that. Man. You're not listening to is pregnant with my child, okay? And leaving her, <laughs> it would destroy her. But do you love this lady? I don't know, man, I mean, my heart feels something for her. See, she feel right there? That's love. And Nancy, of course, she's gonna get hurt. Badly. But time will heal it. Time will heal it, Chris. Come on. Plus, that's not even gonna stop you being good at your time. Yeah, but what if time doesn't heal her? Well, I wasn't trying to be nosy, but I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. And all I want to say is, opportunity only knocks once. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. All right, man. Hey, All right. thanks for the advice. Anytime, bro. Anytime. Oh, and remember, Chris, opportunity only knocks once. Are you trying to tell me you believe the law of foresight? Yeah, why not? Hey, come on, Chris. There's no such thing. It doesn't exist. It does. Romeo and Juliet, what are you trying to tell me? Fantasy. That's exactly what it is. You don't tell me you believe in that story too. Of course I do. Do you think Mass that loved you the first time she saw you? <laughs> oh yeah, she loved you the first time. Hey, didn't she? let's stick to the Shakespeare story, okay? <laughs> and don't mention me and Maya in this lifeless conversation, please. Are you okay, Chris? <sighs> okay. Chris been acting really strange lately. How? Uh, yeah, no. you made he just always want to be by himself. And I don't. I told him I was pregnant last night. Mm. You did. He didn't even see anything. He didn't even notice. Instead, he got really, really mad. I mean, like, <laughs> he was furious. Uh, Is that normal for a man to treat a woman like no. that? No. What did he just propose to? No, that's, it's not normal. Maybe he's seen somebody else. Man, don't get me started with that Shakespeare dude, man, for real. There's no such thing, man. It doesn't exist. It's like one of those mysterious crap that like to feed people. You know, like man going to the moon mm -hmm. type of nonsense? You know, and you spice, Jake. She only said I love you when she know you're making money. I make money too. Please. That she woman mm -hmm. that actually gave him that job? Come on, Nancy. You know she likes him. It's obvious. It's her. It's her. It's Come her. on. Uh, what, what's her no, name? No, 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 no. She no, might be the same no, one that's trying to kiss no, me. No, no, <laughs> no. I don't, they're not, they're not, it's not, it's not like that. Okay, so you guys are telling me that you don't believe that man went to the moon. I do. Man, I tell right. you, I tell you, you know, I trust Nancy, I respect him and all that kind of stuff. With all the right bulbs and tubes they've been wearing. But man going to the moon, man, man, that's all fake. Nancy, this sugar tastes sweet. 
the sugar taste sweet? You know the answer to that. That means he's cheating. That's all I'm saying. Here we go again. Who are you texting? My boo. Huh? Yeah. Yo, your what? Tongue girl. Well, thanks to her. Is that what kids thinks about Santa Claus these days? I can understand you not believing in the moon story, but not believing in Santa Claus is fucked up. I hope you don't teach that to your kids. Yeah, I'm happy that I talk to you. Yeah, you better stop making money though, for real. She does. Come down, do that. Alright. His name is Frank Cummings. What? A what? Frank what? Frank Cummings, okay? Frank Cummings. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Cummings as in like. He makes me happy. I don't care. That's a good thing, baby. That's a good one. Listen, guys, I have to go. Okay, it's late. No, so you wrong for that. You're going to open this guy up with a man club call. Oh, I have to go. Chris will be coming here. Frank, Frank, Frank. Do you believe in love and foresight? No, seriously, because these two jokers out here, they scare the hell out of me. Man, man love and first sight. I just want to have some sex. Does that answer your question? Or? No, 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 man. That's, that's not what I'm asking about, man. Okay, all right, you guys. What about the movie Titanic? Okay, remember the guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gave his life for the woman he loved, and at first sight. Man, Jack was a jerk, man, for real. Are you serious? Man, if I was that water with him, I would shoot his ass and turn around and shoot holes in the shit that the beach was lying on. Why would you do that? You know, I know I'll hurt your feelings and all that's your favorite movie, you know. But that was a selfish bra and a stupid dude, man. And plus, the bitch didn't even deserve it. Man, man, come on. Her name was Rose. You need to find an invention. Better yet, Cupid. Are you serious? Valentine's Day? Fat baby with the wings? Man, don't get me started with the fucking bitches, man. I mean, seriously, shooting people in the heart so they can fall in love? Man, that was a cow shit, man, for real. Hey, have you ever seen one of the girls? No. no. My point exactly. You know, shooting people in the heart so they can fall in love. Why see himself can't get no ass? Hey, shit. You guys gotta cut in the night, man. We gotta go. My is based off at you. Bro, we just got here. Uh, we've been here for about two hours, my man. You're for a while, man. Yeah. Hey, Frank, man, you gonna take me home? Uh, no, I gotta go pick somebody up. Man, whoever picks you up is gonna take you home. Hey, hey, Jack, you gonna take me home, man. For real. Why? Cause you haven't fixed my fucking car yet. I haven't fixed your car cause you haven't brought me the parts yet. Now what part do you need? The friggin' ignition. What the hell is that? The thing that make the car start. Damn. I want you just hot wire this shit so I can go home just like regular people, man. Man, look at my ass. Come on, let's With you. I mean, I do have a fiance for God's sake. So, so, so I just waste all of my money? It's not about the money, Vet. Look, I can refund the money. I'm good. I got too much work to do anyway. Baby, I have good news. Not right now, Nancy, please. You see, I got work to do. I start school next week. The school thing again? Really? You know what? To be perfectly honest, I don't think that's a good idea. Why not, babe? 
First of all, enough with this babe crap. Secondly, who do you think is gonna take care of you and that child? Baby, I thought we had a plan. A plan, Nancy? Really? No. You had a plan. It wasn't mine's. I worked all these years to put you through school. And what, Nancy? Huh? What? Work for a woman so she can go about doing stupid stuff? Yeah, I know. God, Just tell me you're joking right now. Just, just tell me you're joking. Tell me about who did what the who. I will take the stunts from you right now, but I will not have you talk to me like that. You have sisters and a mother, and you don't want anyone to talk to them that way. So you better watch your mouth. Fine. You don't want me to talk to you like that? Then get your stuff and go. I pay rent in this house. I am not leaving. You want to leave? Pack your shit and get the fuck out. <laughs> what? You kicking me out now? Huh? Is that it? You kicking me out? I, I didn't kick you out, okay? Nah, you didn't yeah. have to. You know what? Because I'm leaving. Yeah, and you know what else? Let's talk about this, okay? Nah, it ain't no talk about it. We're done. Done. 
all those years you cook, you clean, you took care of him. What? No, 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 it's not. But you do have a point. I'm gonna sue Chris for every single penny, okay? I'm gonna take up the responsibility for every woman that has been used and about to be used and stand up and, you know what? Because this really has to stop. What has to stop? Using women as vessels to get through. You know what? That's a good idea. We can actually match the straight with banners and posters t-shirt saying men are evil they not worth it the liars they cheat they fools girl you know what as a matter of fact we can call our chapter i mean i know he's a man and all that but he's a civil rights leader that's your right that's my right no man we to don't us. need al sharpton we don't need him what do we need a Nancy. lawyer a lawyer that's what we need. Girl, this chick just spoil our mood. Let's go get some mood. Yeah! Oh, girl, please. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, no. No. So I don't have time for that. <laughs> Yeah, 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 I understand. Yeah, but, yeah, I understand, yeah. But you don't have to worry about that. <sighs> Listen, okay, you, I mean, you have to know someone, at least. You know, I've been on the phone all day, so you're trying to tell me you don't know anyone at all that could help me with this? You don't know anyone that can take my case? I've been on the phone all day making phone calls, okay? And you gotta know somebody. I mean... Okay, I'll, I'll hold. I'll, I'll, yes, it's okay. Yes. Jimmy? Okay. What's the phone number? Uh-huh. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. All right, bye. Thank you, Pastor. I'm just nice it's also here. Thank you, Senator. You're hey, how you doing? How are you? Yes, so I'm here. I can, uh, I can, you, can't do it. I'm sorry. I cannot take your case. I reviewed it already. I, I cannot just do it. I'm sorry. Try somewhere else. I'm really sorry now. Sorry to disappoint you. There's nothing I can do. I'm so sorry. Thank you. If I had walked in here with a bag load of money, you would have taken my case. You know why? Because I have a case. Oh, I know I have a case. I don't care what you say or anybody else. I have a case. And I don't need you or anyone to tell me that I don't have a case. Because I know I have a case. Present yourself. Yes, you can. Look, trust me, you don't need a lawyer to represent you when it comes to something that has to do with your heart. You gotta do it? Yeah, why not? People do it all the time. You know what? You are the best, I swear. You. Oh my god! Like, I... Thank uh. you! You're welcome.
Yeah. I'm going to represent myself. <laughs> Call me if you need anything. I won't be needing you. I know just what to do. Okay. Oh, good for you. Hello. Oh, just the man I'm looking for. Oh my god, I think she has a I am not that crazy, but I could be. <sighs> What's this? Read it. Court order? Babe, I can't read this. Oh, yes, you're gonna read it. Every single word of it. I took care of you for fucking six and a half years. Put your ass through school! Now don't tell me you were skipping classes. Because I'll be the only way an educated man like you will tell me that he can't read. I don't know what to tell you, sweetheart. You're gonna read it. I'll be sure. Read it. Stop. Read Stop. the fucking letter now. Okay. Please stop. I'll read it. I'll read it. Will you? You are? Yeah. From the heading? To the signature? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Just uh, let go, please. <laughs> Nancy. Don't you next to me. Call my name? You don't know me. <sighs> Dickens, do you want me to call the police? Really? Yeah. Actually, call Jane because your ass is fired. You know what, they can fuck you. You call Jane yourself. <sighs> oh, man. <sighs> so, all this paper you've been signing is for what? I don't even know, bro. But Yvette was saying it would help me build some kind of work history. In case I wanted to branch out, it would show I had years of experience. Yo, you know what I find out the other day? What, Laura? Shit. Not only she's a lawyer, her last name is Vicky Stoop. What? Yeah. Now it all makes sense. What makes sense? Yvette was telling me someone close to her would represent me in court. But all this time I never even knew it could have possibly been her sister. In court for what? Man, I told you Nancy's suing me. What is she suing you for? I don't know, man. I I, I guess it was from when I was in school and she was handling my expenses. I don't know. I guess she wants some compensation or reimbursement. Yeah, I hope you didn't sign anything. Look, I didn't, okay? What? Wait, 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 wait. Look! Uh, yes, right yes. Yes. Since you already have a job online, what? you need to sign to see if you are gonna take care of my girl. Uh, you, yes, you are. Wait, 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 wait. I did sign something. Okay, it wasn't like an official contract, and I signed it, but it was just like a plaything. Nah, don't worry about that. I don't think any court in the wall will let you pay for that. Nah, I thought it was going to be gone. Don't worry about that. Anyway, man, you know what? Let's finish this round. Miss Kamara. Miss Kamara. Miss Kamara. Miss Kamara? Miss Kamara? Yes, sir. Are you here with us today in court? Yes, sir. I took a look at your file. Are you representing yourself? Yes, sir. Have you taken all of the legal documentation necessary to represent yourself? Have you gotten all your documents together? Visited uh, all of the rules and regulations that are required in the court of law? 
But what I haven't done all that, sir. Well, you need to do all that before you can continue. My advice, uh, go on the internet, uh, visit a local library, maybe a law library. Get all of your information together, get all your documentation taken care of before you continue your case. After that, then you can represent yourself. For now, the court is adjourned until June 28th. All rise. The Virginia Civil Court is now in session. Honorable Judge Andrew Shepard now presiding. You all may be seated. Ms. Kamara. Ms. Kamara. Ms. Kamara. Yes, yes, sir. Can you please come forward? You understand that this is not a kindergarten with nap time. If you want to sleep, stay home. I'm sorry, sir. It's just that the pregnancy is taking a toll on me, that's all. It won't happen again. And it's your honor. Your honor. I've earned it. Please, have a seat. Ms. Kamara, where's your attorney? Your honor, last month I said I would represent myself. Please state for the court that you fully understand and are aware of the consequences for going legal representation in a court of law. Yes, Your Honor. You may proceed with your case. Your Honor, I am here today to represent myself, and I'm suing Mr. Chris Taylor for fraud and misrepresentation. Your Honor, I took care of this man for six years, supported him through school with the agreement that once he finishes school, he will help me pursue my medical career. But that did not happen, and that's why we're here today. Your Honor, Mr. Chris is selfish and mean. Um, I'm standing here today carrying his baby, and all I want is justice. I believe that I deserve to get some kind of compensation for what I have invested in this man. Who is your lawyer? So how do you plead? Not guilty, Your Honor. I apologize for being late. Please state your name as defense counsel. Laura Dickens from the Dickens Law Firm. And I will be representing Mr. Taylor. Your Honor, Ms. Kamara has no legal grounds for her claim. She's only suing out of spite. My client and Ms. Kamara were together for six years and he decided that he wanted to move on. Ms. Kamara has had a hard time dealing with that. That is why we are here, Your Honor. This is nothing but a case of a young woman scorned. Your Honor, it may seem that way, but I'm not here for love. Neither am I here to gain a man's attention. But do you have any evidence? Any agreement? No, Your Honor. We're talking about an 11-year relationship. 11 years, Your Honor. I trusted him. No, I don't have any written agreement. But Ms. Kamara, if you don't have anything to show, I need something physical, agreement, something that shows that something was broken. No, I, I, have, I have witnesses that knows about this and also have receipts and bank statements. <coughs> That's all I have, Your Honor. I, have, I can prove that I took care of him throughout the school years. Ms. Kamara, Ms. Dickens, please approach the bench. Ms. Dickens, have you seen this? Thank you. As a matter of fact, 
Your Honor, I have. I did receive this and I already reviewed it, but I have to be honest with you, I don't see anywhere where there's a contract or an agreement stating what Ms. Kamara is claiming. As a matter of fact, all I see here are receipts and you will usually accumulate those type of things when you're in a relationship purchasing gifts for one another. These look like gifts. <laughs> you think it's okay to take care of a man for six years, see him through school, only for him to stab you in the back? Actually, Ms. Kamara, I don't think anything. My job, I'm not paid to think that it's not what well, we a good are thing. here today. Yes, it is a very good thing. You're wasting the court. Oh, really? Time. Yes, I think this is a joke. As a matter of fact, I find you quite funny, Ms. Because I went to school for this, okay? So I take this Order. very seriously. What is so funny? Did you see I'm here eight months pregnant? All I get back is this? It's just wrong. No, what's wrong is you are only doing this for the money. I don't care about the money. All I care about are those women out there working day and night to help build a home. It's not about the money. Chris, tell me. Tell me why. Tell me why, Chris! You want to know why? Yes, I want to know why! Because you believe in fairy tales, that's why. No, no. I did what I did because I wanted to do it. I don't owe you a goddamn explanation. Order. We're taking a 30 minute recess. You know what, Yvette? I can tell you right now, I'm done. Do you not see that woman? She is pregnant. Who cares? She's pregnant. What do you mean by who I cares? Don't care. She doesn't just, oh, that's the problem. See, that's the problem. You and daddy, you don't care. Okay, okay. So this is right, about and that's me. who you want to be this with. This is about dad? Yeah, this so is about jealous. dad. And since I'm jealous of you, how come daddy didn't handle his We're business? Still in court. How come you had to get this man, this Mark, innocent shut man? Shut up! Don't tell okay. me this. Shut up! Open up and tell him how you here. used him. No, you get up. Still in the court, man. Yvette, what is she talking about? Chris, it's not, it's nothing, okay? It's nothing. You set me up? Baby, it's not what you think. Don't listen to Laura. Get off me, sir. I don't believe this. I thought what we had was real. Chris. I gave up everything for you. Listen sir. to me. It's not what you're thinking. Listen to me, okay? What? Sir, calm down. You're I am court. calm. And next time I warn you, you're going to jail. You ain't nothing but a cold ass bitch, you know that? Excuse me? You heard me. You just called me a bitch? Oh, I got your bitch, all right? Who the hell do you think you're talking to? Have you lost your mind? Are you crazy? I cannot believe you. calling me a bitch, Chris. <sighs> I'm done. <laughs> Hallelujah. Woo, thank you, God. Mm. All right. The Virginia Civil Suit is now in session. Honorable Judge Andrew Shepard, beside you. You all may be seated. Ms. Kamara, Ms. Dickens, please stand. I just received documents from the Department of Education on Mr. Taylor's financial aid through the time in question. I did not, however, receive any documents from the IRS stating that he worked or provided his own income at, at any time. If he wants to fight that, it's within his right. Um, I will say that the IRS is not as nice as Ms. Kamara. So you may want to think about that. Even though we've established that Mr. Taylor was a dependent at the time of question, uh, to get Mr. Taylor to pay it back without any substantial evidence of an agreement would be in the good nature of Mr. Taylor. Um, without any written documentation by both parties, um, it would be in his, the goodness of his heart. It's the only thing that we would have to rely on. Court really has no bearing on whether or not we can do anything about it at this point. Um, but at this present time, the defendant is free to go. Thank you, Your Honor. Yes, join the note. In your bag. Yes, join the note. Wait a minute. Um, did you see if I have something substantial? Something that he actually signed? Yes. <laughs> Is this substantial enough? Say that. Objection, Your Honor. I object to that being a 
mentioned it to the court this time. Why did this document come forward sooner? This looks like something substantial to me. May I take a look at that, Your Honor? Uh, feel free. This, what it looks like is uh, a handwritten agreement, which is how business used to be conducted way back in the day. No, that was just a joke. Wait a minute, hold on. Your yeah, but yeah. I didn't. What, but, but why, why didn't you tell me about this? This, is a this isn't even a document. <laughs> You should have told me about this. this uh, Your Honor, I'm going to need a moment with my client, please. Take a moment. Thank you. Okay. The with the new evidence uh, presented. Uh, the court finds the defendant not guilty for using the plaintiff with regards to time and money, but with supporting documentation from several sectors of the state and a written agreement by both. The court does grant and order Mr. Taylor to repay a sum of $240,000 to Ms. Kamara. It should be paid promptly. Court dismissed. Ms. Dickens, Laura, please. Please inform your client, uh, Mr. Taylor, 